Hey guys, it's Chase here. Uh, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to uh, show you guys something that I found that was really, really awesome. Um, you do not need uh, to be rich to make incense. Um, you don't even really need a cold desk if you don't want to because I'm going to show you guys the ghetto, <laughs> if you want to call it ghetto way of uh, making some incense um, with stuff that you have in your kitchen. I have ginger, bay leaves, whole cloves, and some cinnamon. Um, you can use whatever herbs you want. I also have some, some kosher salt and a container to put the salt into. Um, and I'll show you what you'll be doing with that later. First, what you want to do is you want to um, – I'm basically making my incense for um, – you know, for basically personal reasons, um, protection, um, psychic, you know, psychic energy, and uh, basically like a purification and, and wealth kind of thing. Um, I put some bay leaves in there. I use some crumply ones um, because I like to save my my uh, other ones for. I like to save my whole bay leaves, like the pretty ones, basically for um, for you know, to use to write write things on for uh, fire spells, and you know what I like to do is write little wishes or write write little invocations or things that I want to happen or to you know my intentions. Basically, I write on on the bay leaf and then burn it with my candle. Um, I got a couple of cloves here. I'm going to put into my my spice grinder, and I only use this grinder for um, for spices. I do not use it for coffee. You do not want to use, if you have a, a coffee grinder, you do not want to use the same grinder you use for your coffee for your magical herbs. You do not want to do that. It ruins the, um, the flavor of the coffee, and it also ruins the smell of the herbs. Um, so I'm actually going to just put bay leaves and cloves in there because my other my other herbs are herbs that I'm using are and spices are already powdered. So you also do not want to to really you know hold this down forever. You just want to get tap it. You want to tap it because um, you don't want to burn up the oils, the natural oils that are in your spices. So I just like to tap it a couple of times. Until I think that um, that it's good enough, and the most you want to do is you want to um, hold it down for like the count of three: one, two, three. That's the longest you want to you want to let it hold held down for. Let's check it out. Ah, if I can open this thing one-handed. There we go. And that looks fine to me. Um, you know, just you just want it powdered enough so that it's it's good. So what I'm gonna do is dump this into my little my little bowl. I do not have a mortar and pestle, the one that I had broke. Um, so yeah. I add in my bay and my clove. Let me open this up. Sorry guys. Give me one second. Look in my salt dish. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I went ahead and opened my ginger. Put a little bit of ginger. Um, ginger is very uh, grounding. It's also good for psychic powers. Um, cinnamon is very a, a fiery, spicy herb. Um, spice, I should say. Uh, that's good for protection. Um, very uh, smells really amazing. Um, but, yeah, I love this for kind of gives gives your spells or your incense a kick. Um, I just love it. So basically what you want to do now is you want to stir up your, your mixture. Just stir it up. I'm using a gold-plated um, spoon. That way it doesn't take away any of the um, smells of the herbs. And a lot of people don't realize that if you use certain certain kinds of metals or certain kinds of um, plastics, it takes away 
from the smell of your herb. Okay, guys. What you want to do now is you want to take a piece, any old piece of scrap paper. I'm using just a little piece of scrap paper. And you're going to basically cut it to whatever length you you like. Um, see how I can do this. Here, I'm going to put you guys down again. I apologize. I usually cut mine to about this size in my hand there. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to take your piece of paper, and I like to use a chime candle for this. You want to just wrap it around, kind of make a this is going to be hard to do. Also, with one hand. There we go. Kind of make a little tube out of it. Well, I'll put you guys down and show you my finished product. Sorry guys, just bear with me here. I'm going to actually trim my paper a little bit so I can make it, form it into a little, see, that's what you want, this little tube. Now what you're going to do, you're going to stick your little tube down into your, down into your salt, like that. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your your mixture and I like to use my my funnel for this. It's kind of a big funnel for for a little thing like this, but and you just dump your stuff into there. Like that. Whoa, sorry guys. We had an avalanche. The <laughs> avalanche. You don't want to pack it down too much. You want to kind of just get it right. Um, put a little bit more on top. Okay, there you go. I made a mess. Um, you, yours would probably look a little more clean, but it looks kind of pretty. I'm going to go ahead and just mix, mix those slices in with that salt because I like the way that looks. It's actually really neat. And if you spill over like that, you can actually use these these little salts for for a bath. All right, guys. Here, this is when the magic happens. You want to light the edges of your paper. Until it's good and glowing. And what you're going to do is it's actually going to smell, and it's going to keep burning. There goes my timer. And it's going to actually continue to burn for you. And there's your incense. No charcoal disc, and it'll stay lit. If it runs out, you're just going to you're just going to keep lighting your paper, but it shouldn't run out. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you that. Um, before I go, I'm also, I mentioned that I do some crochet in my other video, and here's some of the things I make. This is my little crochet butterfly. So if you guys like them, um, let me know, and maybe I'll mail you out some or whatever, and they look cute to, like, just pin places and stuff. All righty. Well, guys, I hope you liked my my incense tutorial on the cheap way without charcoal discs to make your own incense. All right, guys. Blessed be. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.